What's up, Anafinex? AJ from AndroidRoots.com. With me on the Samsung Galaxy S3 T-Mobile. And today I'm going to be showing you how to unroot it and install Stack Jelly Bean 4.1.1. Yes, official on your Galaxy S3. Unfortunately, the, the it's only available for Windows so far um, as of this video. If a Mac version does come out, I will obviously be making a video on that as well. But as of now, it's only available for, the, uh, there's only a version for Windows uh, for installing the stack 4.1.1 and unrooting your uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 to 4.1.1. Only for T-Mobile, do not try to any other carrier, only for T-Mobile Galaxy S3. So first thing we need to do is, um, since I'm gonna make, this video is gonna be made for people who are, who are gonna be unrooting it, Installing it into stock 4.1.1. They're probably going to be uh, planning on sending it back to the manufacturer So we're gonna to have to reset our flash counter. So right here as you can see I got a triangle APK obviously I'll have um, all these links and step by step step by step written step by step guides in the description below So definitely just click on that link below and uh, you can see this written step by step guides all the links that you need so first one is install this triangle way APK and as you can see, it says install black. So we have to go into settings and turn on um, unknown sources. Okay. Go back. Tap on the app again and install it. Once it's done installing, just tap on open. Um, as always, you have to be rooted. That's why it's how to unroot it. Okay. And uh, no thanks. And then we're going to do, uh, as you can see right there, it says counter is at two. So we're going to tap on that. Or we're gonna tap on the lower one. I'm sorry. Reset flash counter, and we're gonna continue. So it's gonna reset your flash counter to zero, completely zero. So now let's go back into the app. Triangle way APK. Right there, and then it's loading, and now you, you'll be able to see flash counter is at zero. So it's only at two because you probably flashed, you probably rooted a uh, custom boot image like a, a clock or my recovery. You rooted your phone or something like that, and it uh, triggered the flash counter, and that uh, that um, lets uh, Samsung know that you uh, messed with your phone. So you definitely want to set it to zero if you're planning on sending it back to Samsung or uh, to uh, uh, your carrier as well. So once you get that uh, complete, it's a flash counter is at zero. Now we're gonna flash the um, uh, uh, stock uh, firmware software thing, whatever you want to call it. So this will delete everything on your phone, everything. So make sure you back it up. Um, it'll only delete everything on your internal SD card, nothing on your external SD card. Just be aware of that. Um, so make sure you back up all your contacts, photos, music, um, all the albums, pictures, everything that you need um, that's important to you. Uh, back it up to your computer and then we'll get started. So power off your phone. And now we're going to be entering into download mode. So give it a few seconds. All right, when, I'm, when we're on this screen, we're gonna press the volume down, home center button, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep rolling volume down and home center button. So all three, vibration, let go of power. And just keep holding. You'll be on this screen, press the volume up to continue. And now we'll say downloading. Um, now we can start our process on our computer and we're just about done. It's gonna be very easy from now on. So plug in your phone via micro USB and the other side to the USB port of your computer. So let's get started. So my phone is still in download mode and it's still plugged in. And as you can see right here, we have a folder called unroot dash install stack 4.1.1 JB on Galaxy S3 T Mobile. As you can see right there, obviously I have a link in the description below where you can download this. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be on your desktop, but um, it doesn't really matter where it is. It could be in your downloads folder, music folder. It doesn't affect the process of um, this whole uh, installing the 4.1.1 process. So since um, since we got this folder, make sure you unzip it and you'll, you'll see this folder. Open up the folder and you'll see um, two files right there. Um, Odin and the um, tar file, MD5 tar file. So um, just keep that in mind that's there because we're going to be using it later. So we're gonna open up Odin. So open up Odin and then open uh, Odin, the application right there. So it's gonna open Odin and you're gonna be using this to uh, flash the 4.1, uh, the tar file. So make sure you do have Samsung keys installed or you will not get this yellow bar. Um, if you do get a problem and this yellow bar doesn't show up for whatever reason, 
try a different USB port, restart your computer, run it as an administrator, Google it if you don't know what that is, and uh, use, a different, use a different Windows computer if you don't get this yellow bar, or if it says fail or something like that. Try all those methods first before uh, contacting me. And um, if you don't have an option for a different computer, then definitely contact me, but try those options first uh, before you uh, get a fail, red fail, or um, it doesn't work, or if you don't get this yellow bar. Keep that in mind. So now, uh, as you can see right here, that uh, we have a little uh, bootloader and PDA and all these options. Um, don't click on anything like that. Just click on PDA and locate that tar MD5 file I told you earlier. So mine was on my desktop, and then it was in that folder I told you earlier, which is right here, unroot, stack, and then my tar MD5 file is right here. I'm gonna select it and click open. Okay, so it's loaded in, as you can see right here, it's all loaded in. And my phone is still plugged in and all that. Um, it's all that good stuff is still there. And I was gonna click start. And this process will take about, I, I'm gonna, I wanna, I wanna say about t five to 10 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer and your USB cable. And also make sure you're using in the original uh, Samsung cable uh, if you can, because you will probably get errors if it doesn't, if you don't do that. So now it's working, as you can see right in the bottom, it says, please wait. So as you can see right there, it says, please wait, and now it's uh, flashing bootloader and all that. And you'll be able to see the status right here. So give that a few seconds, and um, I'll wait until um, it, uh, you, all right, there you can go. You can probably see a little bit of green right there. So this, is, this will take about five to 10 minutes. I'll be back when this is done. So as you can see, it's just about uh, done finishing. Uh the process so it's going to reboot in just about a couple seconds so give it a few seconds and it's going to reboot all right so there you can see it's going to reboot and it's going to give you the samsung logo and then the t-mobile logo because this is the official t-mobile 4.1.1 jelly bean for your galaxy s3 so give it a few seconds to load up and it only took about uh six minutes and 58 seconds so uh not 10 minutes like i said earlier so about to six to eight minutes so give it a few seconds to boot up. And there you go, you got the Samsung logo. So I'll be back when this is done booting up and then we'll take a look at the uh, the uh, software and all that. So I'll be back when this is done booting up. And there you go, you got the T-Mobile logo and all that. So I'll be back. Okay, so mine actually did boot up, but um, the first time I did try this um, earlier in the week, it did get stuck on the boot logo, uh, the Samsung boot logo. So if you're stuck on the boot logo, keep watching this video because we're going to um, do a factory reset uh, in uh, stock recovery. So unplug your phone, and it doesn't matter if the boot logo is still on the screen. Take out your battery. Put it back in. You can put it in the back cover again as well. And now we're going to be entering the uh, stock recovery and doing a factory reset. So press the volume up, home center button, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep pulling the volume up and home center button. So all three. Vibration, let go of power. And now it's going to enter into recovery mode. Stock recovery mode. Okay, you can let go now, and it will boot you in. So good, a few seconds, all right. So now we're gonna be entering in. Uh, we're gonna be doing a factory reset, so that will uh, uh, fix your uh, stuck boot up, uh, boot up animation. So we're gonna go to wipe data slash factory reset, select that one, and go all the way down to select yes, and use the volume up and down and power button to navigate. So that's gonna do a factory reset. All right, and then we're gonna do one more thing is wipe cache partition. So second to last one, select that one and it's gonna wipe the cache partition. Okay, that is complete. Now select the very first one using the power button and it's gonna reboot your phone. And now uh, that uh, boot animation logo will not be stuck anymore. You will not be stuck in the boot loop anymore. So I'll wait till this boots up and then I will be back. Okay, so I just finished booting up after the factory set. It took about five minutes to finish. So I'm going to skip through all this and then we'll head down to settings and show you that we're on official 4.1.1 Jelly Bean for your Samsung Galaxy S3 T-Mobile. So let's just skip through all this. I will be setting up later. You can set it up if you would like. I would recommend it actually. Um, and no, we don't want all this bloatware. Come on, come on. And there we go. And obviously with stock, you can get all this bloatware, all this widgets and all that, you know. And you get all these uh, T-Mobile apps as well, of course. 
So let's head down to settings about device. And right there, as you can see, we're on 4.1.1 right there. Um, official right there, it's directly from T uh, Samsung key servers. So uh, it's fresh and very hot. Um, definitely get this, especially if you're on stack 4.0.4, which is ice cream sandwich. I would highly recommend you get the Jelly Bean version because Jelly Bean makes your phone a lot smoother, improves battery life, and it's just a lot better in the end. Very, very fast with uh, Project Butter. So um, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right up there as that does help me out a lot. And you'll be notified when I upload more content like these, RAM reviews, and many other uh, types of devices as well. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up right there as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Yeah.